Maya. Today's video is going to be the first video in my fall makeup and it is going to be a fall smoky eye and this is like a copper orangey smoky eye with a lot of warm tones in it. I'm not too sure what I'm calling it yet but the reason why I made this is because I picked up this Milani baked eyeshadow at Ocean State Job Lot uh, like a month ago and I knew I definitely needed to be doing some fall looks with this. As you can see, it's like a super pretty orangey, coppery color. It has some flecks of gold in it. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like swatched on my hand in the sunlight. It's just a really, really beautiful orangey color. And this is the color Copper Excess, by the way. So I really needed to do a fall look with this. Also, I got this baked eyeshadow in the mail when I did my e.l.f. haul, and this is in Moonlight Serenade, and it just looks like a moon, as you can see in the sunlight. This is what it looks like. It just looks like a moon. It has all these gold, silver, blue, and green uh, colors in it, and that's what it looks like swatched on my hand in the sunlight. That's what it looks like. It's just so beautiful and it's totally like a moon color. So I really wanted to do a look with this eyeshadow and with this eyeshadow. So I kind of combined them and used them both. Although I probably will be doing another tutorial where I use this one. Uh, but I really wanted to do something that was really just screamed fall. And so dark lips and copper eyes and con sharp contour, little bit of highlight. Although I kind of went overboard because it was just fleekness. Yeah, I know. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Bye! Hey guys, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with my Mary Kay lip protector sun bomb thingy. It just feels really good on my lips, so that's why I'm using that. I'm just gonna apply that, and now we're gonna start out with the eyes. So I'm gonna apply this mineral eyeshadow primer from e.l.f. and I'm just gonna blend that in with my Real Techniques complexion sponge. Uh -huh. Great clouds roll over the hills, bringing darkness from above. So now I'm going to set this primer. I just feel like my eyeshadow lasts a lot longer like this. I'm just using this e.l.f. press powder in porcelain, I think. It's just like a yellow base powder. And if, I feel like my eyeshadows blend a lot better when I do this. Also, I have very greasy eyelids, so this is kind of essential for me. So I'm going to start out with my crown brush palette. I'm going to take these three colors as my transition shade. They're like peachy tone shades, and I just really like them. So I'm going to apply this just using a big fluffy brush all over the crease. And you may see me in a second, but I'm bringing it up really high, almost to my brow bone. This is because I'm kind of creating a new crease for myself. Because my eyes are so hooded, I don't really have a defined crease, and so I'm making a new crease so I have a bigger eyelid. Also, I'm winging it out slightly at the end. So now I'm going to go in with this cool tone brown shade on a flatter brush and I'm just going to apply this mostly to the outer corners. I am going to blend it into the inner corner a little bit more but for the most part I want to keep it on the outer corner. And here we see the results of my clumsiness. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to be taking this wine shade and applying it on a pointed brush to the outer corners of my eye to start to deepen that outer corner. I'm just taking that same flat brush from before and blending it out. So now for the star of the show, I'm going to be taking Copper Excess on an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I'm going to be applying this dry. I always like to layer baked eyeshadows, and most eyeshadows in general. But for baked eyeshadows, I never like to apply them wet first. I always like to apply them dry. Now I'm just spraying this with a little bit of setting spray and putting on some more color, wet, because this is going to really intensify our color. As you can see, I'm really packing this on and layering it and layering it. This is going to give you the most color payoff and the most dimension. So now I'm just taking my finger and applying more color right in the center of my lid just so I can have a little bit more pigmentation. I'm just going to blend that out using the same flat brush as before. 
now I'm taking this charcoal-y color on an e.l.f. crease brush, and there goes my lighting. I'm just going to pack this onto the outer corner as well. This is going to start our transition into black, but I'm just applying this because it's not as harsh as black. So as you can see, I am really just packing this color on and blending it out really well. Now I'm going with black, and this is an e.l.f. crease brush, which is more like a pencil brush. I'm just going to very lightly pack this on the very outer corners. I don't want to bring this in too far. I want to keep the majority of the darkness on the outer corners. And sorry I went out of the frame here, guys. I'm just taking the e.l.f. crease brush and blending that out. So now for the other star of the show, I'm taking the other big eyeshadow. This is e.l.f. Moonlight Serenade. I'm just going to apply this with an e.l.f. smudge brush to the middle of my lid. This is going to create a really cool 3D effect and also make your eyelids look kind of wet. I'm just going to blend that out with the same flat brush as before. So now for eyeliner, I didn't really want to do anything too dramatic, so I'm just going to do a thin line with this eyeliner pen. I can never remember the name of this. I don't know what brand it's from. I'll put it down below, I promise. I got it in a birch box or an Ipsy. I just can't remember things. So you can see I messed up my eyeliner a little bit, so I'm just taking a sponge applicator and just kind of wiping it away and fixing it. So now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, and my eyebrows desperately needed to be done when I filmed this, so please ignore any weirdness. But I am filling them in a little bit more than I normally do because I really wanted to go for more of a bold brow. So I'm just going to fill them in with this NYC pencil and then just brush them out with a spoolie. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara and just apply this brow gel end to my eyes. So I'm going to be mixing two foundations today and I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Finish and this Flower Beauty Foundation. I'm just going to apply this with a flat top kabuki brush all over my face. I like these two foundations because uh, the e.l.f. one is very full coverage, and I needed to add the Flower Beauty because the e.l.f. one is a little too light for me right now. So now, after I did that, I'm just going to take my sponge and kind of dab off any excess foundation that we have around our face. So now for concealer, I'm using this Master Conceal in the shade Light. This is by Maybelline. I'm just going to apply this with a brush like this, and I'm using this one because it's not too different from my skin tone and it's not going to be too brightening. I don't want something too highlighted under the eye so that's why I'm using this today. Also it's very full coverage and just awesome. I love this concealer. So now I'm going to carve out my brows and conceal some hairs that desperately need to be waxed. So I'm just using a brush like this to kind of conceal the underneath of my brows and just taking this e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush to blend it out. So now I'm going to set my under eyes, and I'm just using the banana color in this NYX contour palette. I usually use the banana and the white, but I'm just using the banana today because I don't want to be too highlighted under my eyes, and the banana is closer to my skin tone. So now for our other highlighting, I'm going to take this creamy white shade, and sorry I went really dark here guys, I'm just going to highlight this under my brow bone using a Bella Pierre brush. And then I'm going to take that same baked eyeshadow, and on this H&M brush, I'm just going to apply this to my inner corners. So now I'm taking this orangey camely shade, and I'm going to apply this with an angled brush under my lash line. And then I'm just going to blend this out with a Bella Pierre brush. So for some reason I didn't get the rest of my shots in here, but I am just smudging that same cranberry wine shade under my eyes again. For some reason I didn't take the shot of me with that color. So now I'm going to this Bella Pierre Go Naturals palette and just taking an angled concealer brush and applying this to the very outer corners of my eyes. And again, blending that out, and I think I'm using an angled Bella Pierre brush now. Out of mascara, I'm going to take my Rocket Volume Mascara, and you've seen me done mascara a hundred times, so we're just going to cut that, and yeah. So I apply that to my top and bottom lashes, and now I'm going to take this cool shade from the NYX Contour Palette, and this 
blending brush from e.l.f., which I love, and I'm just going to contour. I want a pretty sharp contour today, so as you see, I'm using the cool tone shade and not all three shades like I normally do. And I'm not picking my nose, I had an itch, that was kind of disgusting, I'm sorry. So now I'm going to take this blush, this is an e.l.f. Studio br blush, not brush, and this is in Peachy Keen. I love this peach shade, I think it goes so well with our oranges. I'm just going to apply this using an angled fluffy brush. So now for highlighter, I'm going to apply this tiny sample of Benefit What's Up highlighter. And I'm just going to put this on my cheeks like that in a line. And then I'm going to go back in a second and just blend that out with my finger. I really wanted to use this highlight and I think it's so awesome to use a cream highlighter and then put a, another powder highlighter over it. I just think it gives you a beautiful glow. So I'm going to be using e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic and just applying that with an e.l.f. Taper Brush. I told myself I wasn't going to go heavy on the highlight, but I, as you can see, I kind of didn't do that. I kind of went really heavy on the highlight, but that's okay! Highlight isn't just for summer. Calvin pointed out that this shot was really weird because I moved my head and the brush, and yeah, I think it's really weird. <laughs> Look at that glow, yas. So now I'm going to be applying this lipstick by Milani. It's in the shade Teddy Bear. It's just a beautiful, like, dark brown nude. And I'm going to just lightly put this on my lips, not too much, because I am going to be going in with this new Milani liquid lipstick. It's one of the Amore la la no, Lip Creams, and it's in the shade Flirt, I believe. This shade especially is pretty patchy at times, so you just have to be very careful when you work with it. But as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how I feel about these liquid lipsticks yet, but... I think they're pretty good. So that's it for this video, you guys. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. So hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know if there's any more fall tutorials that you want to see. And yeah, that's it. See you guys later. Bye.